Okay, so my first activity is my home screen activity. Uh, this is the class for it, home screen extends action bar activity. The layout associated with it is this, and it just says home screen, and then there's a button to play the game. When that button is pressed, a new activity is going to pop up, which is the game activity. So to create a new activity, which in this case is going to be the game activity, go to file, new dot dot dot, or press alt and insert, and then go to activity, and you can pick your different type of activity, but in this case we're just going to create a blank activity. And then you give it the name, we're going to call it game. Uh, the layout name is just going to be game.xml, menu doesn't matter. The launcher activity, uh, what this means is when the app is first launched, if it's the launcher activity, then this is going to be the one that comes up first. By default, it's the first one you create, and that's good. You kind of want it to be the home screen in this case. So it finished. And then we're just going to create a, um, a large text view, and it's just going to say game so that we know that it's the new activity. So let's go back to the home screen activity. and inside this button listener for the BTM play game which is on the home screen all we're gonna do is uh, start the new activity so to start a new activity um, you have to use the method start activity and you can see there that um, the method is gonna take an intent okay so we need to create an intent object in order to pass it to the start activity method so we'll leave that blank for a second um, the intent is going to be this intent and we'll call it I equals new intent and we're going to have some parameters we need to import the class before it'll tell us what parameters we need so if you click over the intent word that is uh, red because it can't resolve the symbol uh, press alt and then enter and then it'll give you some options or it'll just do it for you and then type import class it's going to import android.content.intent um, so now the class is inserted and we can look at the parameters that this is going to take. Not sure why it isn't telling us, but um, whatever. So we need to give it two contexts, which is um, this context, home screen dot this, which is the name of your class, and then put dot this. And then the, the second parameter is going to be the name of the class or the activity that you want to start. So in this case, it's going to be game dot class. And there we go, that's our intent object, and when we start the activity, we're going to pass it that intent object. Or we could just condense the code and put this new intent object declaration in here, and get rid of this first line. Do it all in one line, it looks better that way. And now I'm just going to run it on the Android emulator to show you that it works. Okay, so this is the Android emulator. Uh, just unlock the screen. Here comes up the home screen. So we're going to press the button play game and then the new game activity is going to pop up. So notice that if we press the back button, the home screen activity is still going to be there. See, this is how users can press the back button and go between activities as if they never left them. If you want it so that the user can't press the back button and go back to their previous activity, you can call the finish method after you after you start the new activity you can call the finish method on the current activity so that it closes. This just closes the current activity. So I'll run that in the Android emulator and show you how that works. So here's the home screen again, but this time when I press play game, it'll close the previous activity and now the game activity is loaded. But if I press the back button, it'll just close the app because there is no activity before it. When you press the back button, it also calls the finish activity. So when you press the back button in the game activity, it calls finish on itself. I want to show you guys what creating a new activity actually does. You can see that it's just a Java class. It's just a Java class called whatever you want that extends action bar activity. The question is why can't you just type that yourself in a new Java class? Well, it also gives you some methods, you know, the default methods that you have to override in the action bar activity class, but um, really what it does is it changes your manifest for you because every activity has to be logged in the manifest. So go over to your project folder and open up the manifest directory and open up android manifest.xml. Here you can see that it has your activities for you. So in this activity tag it defines an activity. It's going to be the name is home screen. Remember that home screen activity? 
and this intent filter is um, defining it to be the launcher activity. So the name is Android Intent Category Launcher, right? And it's the main activity. And then in this other activity, which is just the game activity, it's not the launcher activity. Remember, we didn't select that because we wanted the home screen to be the launcher activity. Well, this is where you could change it manually if you wanted to. You don't have to go and delete the activities and create new ones. You could just copy and paste this over here and put it over here. And then now the game would load up as soon as the app is launched. But this actually does it for you, and it's nicer to just go to File, New, Create New Activity than it is to go and create a new class that extends the action bar activity and then create the default methods that you have to override and, you know, add the activity to the manifest and all that. It's better just to do the Create New Activity and let it all do it for you. Anyways, that's how you use multiple activities in Android.